In this video I'm going to show you how to create a scalloped hem using partial knitting or short rows. I cast on a full needle rib and then I transferred all the stitches from rib or bed to main bed using my transfer carriage. For this example I've got 60 stitches but you can cast on any multiple of 12 or if you want to create different size scallops you can of course use different numbers. Right now my carriage is on the right side and I'm going to begin putting needles in holding position from the left side and I'll do all of them except the last 12 on the edge. Will not forget to put my carriage in holding position as well. And I think at this point I can actually remove the cast on comb. So now that I've attached a little weight, I can just knit one row from right to left. So I'll begin putting needles in holding position. I put one on the right side, I'll knit one row and then continue with one on the left side. Every time we're putting needles in holding position on the opposite side where the carriage is. Knit one, one more needle and hold, knit one, one more needle and hold. Now, as you can see, we have five needles in work and I'll be knitting the last row from left to right. So I'll make sure to put in working position the remaining needles from the first 12 needle section. There'll be three more here and all the next 12 needle section. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Now when we're knitting from right to left, all I want to have in working position is the second 12 needle section. So I'm going to make sure to put the entire first 12 needle section in holding position. Knit one row from left to right. We'll just make sure to also move my claw weight on the second section. So now we will begin putting needles in holding position, again on the opposite side where the carriage is. So now that we have five needles in work, I'll put one more in holding position so that I have four and I will need the last row from left to right. And this is how we end this section. All I have to do now is to put the remaining needles from the second section in working position. So there will be four of them. We have four here on hold, four in work, and I'm pushing four more. And now I have to count again like we did on the previous one the 12 needles from the third section. And we're knitting from right to left. And we finished with the second section. So I'm going to put the entire second section, eight more needles in hold. And the only thing we have in action is the third section. So from now on, it repeats the same, only the first section is slightly different. You remember when we had five needles in work when we finished, for all the other sections, we will always finish with four needles in working position. We have the next 12 needle section in working position. I'm going to need the first row from left to right. 
and from here we're going to begin putting needles back in holding position always on the opposite side from where the carriage is We're knitting the last row from left to right and then again we're putting the remaining of the third section back in working position so four more needles and the entire fourth section I think I messed up this last section, I think I made a little mistake here, maybe I had only 11 needles in work. Um, so now that we finished the last section, we can just knit normal rows. So here is a sample knitted with a full needle cast on. If you do not have a river bed, the exact same technique would work just on your single bed. And you can see here how, because we've done just a simple e-wrap cast on, the edge kind of rolls a little bit, which is so, so cute. This is one example and here we have in a different yarn. <laughs> 